What's up, everybody? It's your favorite girl, Autumn Joy, and you know what you're tuned into. It's the weekly recap right here on thisis50.com. Celebrating his birthday this past week, the number one Leo, President Obama, turned 48. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy birthday, Prezzo. Baby, you my everything. You are oh, my knee. Yes, I'm Drake. Oh, was it hard to figure out? Okay, that was cheesy. But anyway, speaking of Drake, as you all know, he fell last week during the America's Most Wanted tour. Well, you know what? He decided, listen, I'm not gonna let this knee injury get me down. I'm performing in Toronto, Canada. So you know what he did? He gave his home crowd quite a show. Now, rumor has it that he is going to be getting surgery on the ligaments in his knee this week. So y'all make sure you send up a prayer for our boy Drake. Now, also speaking of Drake, did y'all know that his knee actually has a Twitter page? And it had the nerve to tweet about me. Whatever. It was funny though. Okay, so this story is kind of bizarre. Back in 2008, Mary Anderson is claiming that Method Man shot her up to six times in the back with an air gun. Why are you just not coming out and letting people know, Ms. Anderson? Well, if the story is true, she is suing Method Man for unspecified damages. Okay, so one of the biggest stories of the summer is the Chris Brown and Rihanna situation. Chris Brown did not violate the stay away order. As you all know, he was not supposed to go within 50 feet of Rihanna. Now, rumor has it that they are going to try to lift the restraining order against Chris Brown. Hmm, I think Riri wants to get some of that good as that, Ow, ow, ow. Well, speaking of Chris Brown and Rihanna, according to Star Magazine, it is rumored that a worker of a hotel saw Chris Brown in Rihanna's hotel room and they're claiming that Chris Brown was all over Rihanna, rubbing on her face, whispering in her ear. I don't know, y'all. This might be the beginning of a pretty rocky relationship. I'm sorry, baby. Okay, so Gossip Queen Wendy Williams is taking the side of Eminem in the Eminem and Mariah beef. Now she's saying that, you know what, it's Mariah's fault. And she even stepped to Nick Cannon and was like, you need to be a man and stop tweeting about the situation and do something about it. Mariah, I say you started this and it, it's gotten so ugly now that Mariah's husband, Nick Cannon, is not even adequately able to defend her character. Music. As the husband, it's only right that you well, do a little bit more than your high school tweeting. Twitting, Nick. Recently, this is 50.com. Got a chance to check out my man Soulja Boy behind the scenes of the America's Most Wanted Tour. He went in about his Twitter page, his brand new hits, and he even said something about the groupies. Hey. Girls don't talk. There's a whole lot of ladies out here in Madison some shit. How them groupies treat my weed is elected, I am well respected, I am well connected, I am in the hood, in the hood nigga section, your girl is my food, I had her for breakfast, and after we sex men, I left up his breathless. One of the funniest clips I've seen all week is this police chase, right? Now it starts off as a normal police chase, the driver's speeding down the road, and then turns, and the cops are on their tail, and then the door swings open, and he just know a grown ass man is gonna come out, but no, lo and behold, it's a seven-year-old boy who gets out and runs, and notice how the cop kind of hesitates. I looked around like, damn, that must have been a midget or something. He's back! Everybody's favorite live stream, whatever you want to call it, Stefan Marbury is back, and he's just releasing video after video after video. And then this video shows Stefan dancing pretty seductively. to the music of Chris Brown, but the person that edited it put it to the song Barbie Girl. So, um, I don't know if I get him doing the little uh, that and licking his finger. So this hot mess of the week comes from another basketball player, Delonte West, as well as DC rapper KM. Now they're sitting in the KFC drive-thru and apparently their food is taking too long to get there. So they decided to go ahead and freestyle. Sit your pole, and sit your pole, and get burrito beans, rice your pole, get some juice, napkins, little hot sauce. Sit down, eat your pole, like a ball. Ball. Sit All right, before I go, I have to give a big shout out to Miss Angie Ange, 93.9 WKYS. What's up, mama? And I also give a shout out 
the JB tell them. All right, guys, until next week, I'm outie. Bye.